the beautiful cuffs that you have. Eh? And you are hiding them with this blanket you call cloth. This is how you should dress at all times. Mama, mm -hmm. uh, Mama, I'm not be angry that I'm dressing like this. What is wrong with what with, 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 with what we are wearing? I see nothing wrong with it. Nothing. There's nothing wrong with it at all. This is how you should be dressing. Hmm? So you like it? I like it. Then move on. Then I I know you don't understand. Don't worry, you will soon understand. Hmm? Yes. No, no! Oh, yeah, yeah, no. Can you finish? Oh, no. Hey! Keep it this way so that you look sexy and charming when you are walking. You look sexy, you look charming. Huh? Yes, Mama. You will soon understand. <laughs> Don't worry. Yes, Mama. Huh? Yeah, let's go. Let's go and have our lunch. Okay. This is the money. Oh. Oh. Skandra Bosha Kamatayaka. Yeah. Oh. You have expressed your faith in God. And the Lord will deliver you. Amen. While you were gone, I was praying. I was praying and asking God to reveal the person behind your problems. And God opened my eyes to see the person. Pastor, who is this person? It's your uncle. <gasps> your uncle? Your father's immediate elder brother. He is unhappy that you and your sisters are all married. And his own daughters are all sitting at home. That's why he wants to kill your unborn child. Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I've always known that man is an evil man. He is a very wicked man and he will die in the pits of hell. Amen. Amen. Huh? Pastor, please, you need to help me, friend. Yes. That's what we're about to do right now. Huh? Yes. See, I will pray for you. I will pray for you. When I'm done praying, that your uncle, your evil uncle, will die. Amen. And when he's gone, all you have to do is Go to the hospital and the doctor will confirm you are pregnant. Oh. Yes. Amen. Amen. Now, what you have to do, huh? mm -hmm. just go home. Go and stay with your husband. Have a good time with your husband today. Now, let's pray. Oh, thank you, Master. Oh, Jehovah. Thank you. Father Lord, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. We bless your name. Father yes, Lord. Lord, we know that you are about to answer a prayer right now. Yes, Lord. We pray for a good answer, for a good result. Amen. Father Lord, blessed be your holy name. Father. Sometimes I wish we have a daughter. Should I have been helping you with all the cookings? 
I wish so too. But since God didn't give us, we can't question the Almighty. I'm not questioning him or I'm only wishing. Our son has not gotten a child. And I'm more happy. I don't even know what is wrong with her. Or is it Obuefi cannot get her pregnant again? Mm -mm. The problem is not for my son. That girl, Anne, is barren. Oh, yes. I think Obuefi should send her packing and get another wife. Why will you say so? It has not gotten to that. Who said so? Who says so now? It is almost three years they got married and she hasn't given birth. Is it until they are old? You will know that that girl is barren. What do you mean? My dear, she is not barren. She took in twice. Then where are the children? Where are the children? She took in twice. She's not barren. Where are the children? Are you not old enough to be a grandfather to children? Grandpa. Anyway, Soon, she will leave my son's house for the real woman to come in. What do you mean? Stomach. <laughs> That's because I feel there's a baby growing inside there. Hey! Yes. Thank God, though. Hey! <laughs> I'm happy for you. Thank you. That means I'll be carrying Tata. If it's a boy or a girl, I'll carry it. Do you know if it's a twin? Eh? Uh -huh. it's good now. We'll share it. I'll carry one. I'll okay. carry one. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I, I like the way you're happy. Thank you. Continue. Keep uh, rubbing your stomach. Okay. <laughs> Honestly, Chisimdi, thank you for the words. Thank you. Thank you, Tlanti. Alright. <laughs> Chisimdi, leave me alone. Daddy, because of me, you smile. That's why I'm laughing like that. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Hello? Mkem? I need your help. Okay. Thank you. It. it doesn't even look like someone has been here at least in a while now. Uh -uh. Oh, sorry, excuse me, please. What else? What else? Please, we want to see the pastor. Pastor? Wait, that barrow. That guy will carry people money around. Eh? Don't even open. Carry your money around too. Forget it, it's not a voice smell. Hey! Forget it. Eh? 
Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I have been duped. In camp, I have been duped. No, you haven't been duped. I, I, I thought you said you knew this guy. I, how am I supposed to know? I mean, somebody introduced me to him and told me about the signs and wonders that he performs. I didn't know. You didn't know? I, you, 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 you couldn't do background check. Now look at my life now. I have been duped. How will I know he would dupe you? Oh. I didn't know. Oh. Okay, you have killed me. You have killed me. I have been duped. Hey. Okay. Okay. Hey. It's okay. It's okay now. It's okay. I will take you to another pastor. This one is very good. You want to take me to another pastor so I can get duped? No! I know this one very well. I know him. I know him very well. Let's go. It's okay. Good. Hey. What kind of problem is this now? Eh? What kind of wall is this one now? you my sister this prophet is very powerful he is about to undo what I did to my son's wife we will let him no woman I can see them they are about to fall they are about to fall oh that's what you call it in the car please you know 
I can see them. I can see them. I am done with all these spiritual houses. I am going back to my doctor. This is a compo. I thought we've been through this a lot of times. I told you there is nothing wrong with you. We've checked around your womb and we've found nothing except few patches which shouldn't prevent you from taking in. Few patches? You never mentioned this to me, Dr. Kune. I did. Okay, let's say I skipped. Is there on your test result? <sighs> Dr. Kuli, I stopped checking those tests because they keep saying the same thing. Okay, so what's the cause of those patches? <laughs> Nothing in particular. It could be a previously stomach treated infection that made up the patches. I, I, I had a minor stomach infection a few years ago. Okay, okay. But like I said, the patches are most times relatively harmless. Most times? That means there is a possibility for it to be harmful, right? Just one in 50 cases. What if mine is that one? Absolutely not. Doctor, you are not sure. I mean, maybe those patches are, the, are responsible for my problem. And we are looking at bigger cases. Doctor, tell me, what must we do to take this out? How can we get it out? Surgery is the only solution. Surgery? 
tree? Baby. Yes, baby. I went to see Dr. Quinley today. What for? To find out if there is any positive development. Okay. What did he say? He said that they found out some patches around my womb and that I will I will need surgery to take them out. Surgery? Yes. He said, mm, he said, mm, 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 I don't like, I don't like that part. Baby, listen to me, please. He said these patches could be responsible for my inability to give birth. Could be. That's what he said, right? Could be. It means he's not sure. He is a doctor, babe. <sighs> okay. What are your chances of survival? Did he say that? 50-50. Excuse me. 50-50. Excuse me. Baby, it's I say no. No. It's too risky. Babe, yes. Please just give this a thought. Let me go for the surgery. I, I believe I'll come out. I, I, I want to give you children. I, don't I know. I'm not complaining. I've never put you under pressure before. I am not complaining. 50-50 means you could die. So I say no. No surgery. Let's not talk about this again, okay? Hey, please, I just... I love you. Let's get some rest. Baby, we can... I love you. I love you. This is fight, this is war, but it's not physical fighting. Oh, oh, this is spiritual fighting. Oh, oh, it's not physical fighting. Oh, 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 this is spiritual fighting. It's not physical fighting. Hello, Mkem. I'm not fine. I mean, it's been one month and I don't feel pregnant. Mkem, listen to me. I have been pregnant before, so I know how it feels. I can't feel anything. It's okay. Listen, I'm coming to your house so we could go see the pastor, okay? Alright, let me get dressed. Alright, see you in a bit. Okay. And you can't be serious. Do you even know what you're saying? I do. I do not have a choice. Oh, yes, you do have a choice. I don't. If I do, I wouldn't be here. Okay. Will you help me or not? Why are you laughing like that? <laughs> okay, now uh, take care of the house, okay? I will. Make sure you take care of the house. Yes, I will. Though I trust you. <laughs> Alright, bye. Bye-bye. Johnny Mess. Thank you. She said you take care of the house. And I will.
Sit down. You're welcome. Yes, thank you, Doctor. Ah, madam, mm -hmm. I've booked you for the surgery. Okay? And it can be done tonight. Oh, really? Yes. But one thing, I need you and your husband to sign this for me. It's very important. <clears throat> It's okay, um, but my husband may not be able to come here. He's actually preoccupied, but he has given his consent so we can go ahead. Oh, I'm, I'm very sorry, madam. You see, this document has to be signed, okay? The consent has to be signed. That's, That's standard procedure. Uh, it's fine. I'll just take it to him and he will sign it. All right. It's okay. fine. Yes. All right. Thank um, you. We should get going. All right. Yes. you going to do about this because there is absolutely no way your husband will sign this I know I saw it coming okay so what are you doing are you doing I have my husband's signature. Oh. Mama? Hmm? Good evening. Hi, sir. You are back? Yes, sir. How was your day? Fine. Good evening. Where's my wife? I have not seen her for up to two hours now. She should be inside sleeping. Two hours. Okay. Expecting you to call. How are you? Oh my god, that's, that's great news. I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Uh, I had 
beans and plantain. What about you? I hope, hope you've had something to eat. Okay, and you're fine over there. Alright, alright, that's that's good to know. Okay, let me just get some more rest. Alright, call me as soon as you've settled down uh, completely. Okay. Alright, I love you. I love you. Are you ready now? That's not possible. My, my wife left for Dubai today. Yes, as I speak to you, my wife is in Dubai. What are you saying? Ah, are you serious? Hold on, I'm not coming there right I told her not to go for that surgery. I warned her. I warned her, I warned my wife, but she wouldn't listen. I saw this thing coming, I saw it. I saw it. Yeah. What a word. One shit. Hi. But who would blame her? She was only trying to make her husband happy. Now that she's dead, how, how happy am I? She don't just listen to me. Listen to your husband. Hi. Ah, no, Chai! Ah, no! She should have just been patient and wait for the right time. Exactly. Ay. Exactly what I was telling her. Was I disturbing her? I kept on telling her that at God's own time. God's own time. Be patient. Hey, it's okay, come on. It's okay. I'm respectful. What's going on, man? What's going on? Walk a cable. It's okay. It's okay. Huh? Smart. I don't know that you have a bull egg, egg, or bull egg, Kimwa. Mama, what have I done now? You are not going anywhere. Why? Because my son will take another wife, and I want you to be the person. Oh, yes. Ha! Ah, Mama! What is her? Mama, or oh, don't you want to get married? It's only one Nagano, Nagan Nag. A handsome man, it has all it takes to maintain a woman. So I want you to be here as his wife. Oh, just in there, Mama. This is an opportunity for you, and I want you to grab it. Big opportunity for you. If I wear you, I will grab it. Don't lose it. You are not going anywhere. This is opportunity. Don't miss it. Opportunity come only but once, not twice. Be wise. 
shine your eye. She has refused to be one of us. She has made way for another to join us. This one will even make a more beautiful witch. your son marry her immediately then bring her here for initiation you know we have been very patient with you we would not like to wait for too long anymore thank you my queen witch thank you for your patience and i promise not to disappoint you again to make up for the time already gone i offer the womb of my son's late wife for our feasting tonight. <laughs> You have become a shadow of yourself these past few months. Drinking has become your hobby. But I tell you, it can't solve the problem. It's been three months and left us. You need to move on with life. Life has to go on. I'm saying this because you need to marry again and start a family. Well, I'm not thinking about that right now. You have to. There's no time. There's no time. And until you marry again, you will not get over your dead wife. <coughs> I'll marry again. find someone, someone I'm going to love the way I love my wife. So, you don't have to look too far. This girl in your house, Chisimde, is a perfect wife material. She is beautiful, well-mannered, and from a good background. So, I, I suggest you should marry her. You can't be serious, Mama. I am serious. Very serious. I am your mother. And I will not mislead you. 
that girl is a good choice for you. Think about it. I miss you so much, my husband. I miss the, the love, the care, and attention. But I know of a very good person that will make a good wife to you. Chisindi. Yes, Chisindi. She will make a good company and a wife to you and give you lots of children. Please marry her and make me happy. Please marry her. I love you. He's a great man, a very good man. I, I want him to come down. He is hurt, bruised, heartbroken. I want you to marry him. Yes, I know you will make a good wife. I know you will build a good home. And I want you to give him the children I couldn't give to him. Please, I beg you, please, please.
Do not be afraid. I won't hurt you. I'm not dreaming, honey. No, you're not. I'm with you in spirit. Thank you. Have you thought about getting married to Chisimdi? I came to you in your dream to ask for a favor. Now I'm here real life to ask for the same favor. I am a woman. I cannot be the one to ask a man to marry me. I know. I just want you to be ready when the time comes. I will. If it is your wish. Thank you. Prayer for this new marriage is that no evil shall see it. Amen. No witch, no wizard shall see you. Amen. This marriage shall be blessed with male and female children. Amen. There shall not be any untimely death. You will live in peace and in love the rest of your life. Amen. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mommy, thank you. Thank you guys for coming. Thank you. In fact, honestly, I don't know what to say. You've been very good friends. You've been there for me in good times and in bad times. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So, we have so much to eat, so much to drink. Let's enjoy ourselves. <laughs> Congratulations, guys. Thank you. Congratulations, bro. Thank you. Ah. Hey. Yeah. Ah.
Oh my god. It all feels like a dream. Chino, I came to this house as a help. But now, I am the madam of this house. God has favored you. Mm. Obviously, he has. <laughs> but, what is it? I wish another woman didn't have to die for me to get here. Oh, no, stop. You don't have to feel some kind of way. May the soul of Anne rest in peace. Amen. Um, your husband is a nice man. You are also a very nice person. Listen to me, all you need to do is just be a good wife. That is it. Okay. Um, I'll give you my number. If you need anything, just call me. Mm -hmm. You are such a nice person. Thank you. <laughs> Thank oh, you. Yeah. Tell me congratulations again. Congratulations. Mm. I want another hug. Oh my god, you are so crazy. <laughs> congratulations. Yes. Let's go. <laughs> never seen anything like this before. You've definitely been attacked spiritually. <sighs> Doctor, what could be wrong with her? Every check on her shows she's fine. I'll not be fine, but what did you check? She's still unconscious. Well, that's the point, you know. It's very strange. Very, very strange. Your friend, Mr. and Mrs. Odili, they have same challenges. Yes, I suggest you visit a pastor. It's very important. A pastor could do a spiritual cleansing on this matter. foul spirit of death, you foul spirit of sickness, you